Welcome to VisualStudio.net Windows Form Application Tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create database application, how to retrieve data from SQL Server and show them in the Windows Form and manipulate data like insert data, update data, delete data and how to create practical data driven application. For this application we are using Visual Studio 2019 because Visual Studio 2019 is the latest version presently and you can download it freely from visualstudio.microsoft.com community version is free for, for all and community version has all functionalities required for this project and the left hand side these are recently opened uh, projects and right hand side I'm selecting create new project and project type we're going to create Windows form application .NET framework selecting it and then next project name will be EMP info that means employee information and framework I'm selecting latest version of .NET framework then create Visual Studio created the project and by default Visual Studio project create a form empty form in this form we are going to show the data from SQL Server to do that I have to create a database and a table in the SQL Server let's do it first I have installed SQL Server 2019 developer version. It, it is also freely available in Microsoft website. You can get all enterprise level functionalities in developer version and it is free for developer not uh, commercial use or industrial use. Connect. expand database I have already created AppDB it is a database name under AppDB database I have created a table I have already created a table employee info let's right click on it go to design view here's the table it has six column one is ID name designation department city and country in this tutorial I am not showing how to create database how to create table in database because it will increase the length of the video and if you don't know how to create database how to create a table I have another video series it is SQL Server 27 and SQL Server 2019 in this in my channel so I will suggest you to view those videos to know how to create database object using SQL Server Management Studio here ID column is uh, primary key column and it, its identity specification change to yes and identity increment is one that means if I insert any data in this table ID will be generated automatically we don't have to think about inserting ID manually so let's go to the Visual Studio again to view data from SQL Server you need to create a data set first to do so first go to view select other windows and select data source this is the data source window from here click add new data source 
select database click next then data set click next create a new connection connection with SQL server it is not showing the database server name so I have to type the database server name if you don't know what is your database server name then go to SQL server again right click on it select properties under general here is the database server name copy the server name go to visual studio again paste the sql server database server name select sql server authentication because uh, windows authentication will not work if your database and application in different machine in generally select database name here appdb is our database name test connection test connection succeeded click ok select yes next this is our connection string name go to next expand table under table employee info it is our table select all columns here is the data set name you should give a relevant data set name like data set employee info click finish here is our newly created data set click on it select detail and click and drag and drop it on your windows form visual studio will generate all necessary codes and objects to retype data from sql server and it is also created a navigation toolbar you can go next go previous with this button you can insert new data row delete data save data double click on form title bar these codes are generated automatically in form load this line is for retrieving data from SQL server these three lines for saving data select toolbox select button and drag and drop it on the form select it go to property window text is close and this button name is button close double click on close button type this dot close this line of code will close the form let's run the project here you are viewing the form populated with SQL Server data we have three rows in the database now I am going to insert a new row by clicking add new name David designation manager department sales city New York country USA save that has been saved 
in the SQL Server if you want to change any data or modify data you can just modify it and set if you need to delete someone just click delete then save it is very simple so i think you have understand how to retype data from sql server and how to insert update delete data with windows application using c-sharp.net